Hi, this is Dave, fellow running guide. Welcome to this week's navigation task. Got a lovely blue sky peak district day today and I was sat down having a brew, uh, a hot drink, at this sheepfold here. So for people who don't know what a sheepfold is, it's a, a man-made feature, so low walled enclosure where shepherds would gather their sheep to either count them or look after them or um, just make sure that they'd they'd got them all and um, shelter them in harsh conditions um, and they're shown on some maps so the map today is the Ordnance Survey 1 to 25,000 and we've got a choice of sheepfolds so we've got sheepfold A there we've got two on this extract B and C and then sheepfold D there. So which one of those is the one in the photograph? So I don't think it's too difficult this task this week, but um, we'll see. So what can we see? Well, the photo is taken almost directly opposite this stream draining down from high ground. Um, and we've got I wouldn't say very steep ground to the left and to the right, but certainly a hill on either side. So the stream's coming down towards us. So at this point here, it's got to turn left or right as it comes down the hillside. So we can't see where there's a stream in here, but we can safely assume that there is. Um, and we can see that this ground here to the right of the photo is lower than this ground here. So this stream is coming down and turning left downstream right as we look but if you were walking downstream you could down and turn left. Whether or not there's another stream coming in here is hard to say. So let's have a look at those um, map extracts and see if we can work it out. So sheepfold A, could it be this one? Well, we're not quite looking straight up the other side, so straight away that might um, cause us to doubt it. But then the other thing to think about here is this stream coming down towards the sheepfold, Reddale Clough. When it gets to the bottom here, is the stream going to flow to the right or to the left? Well, we can see here, if we just look at the, the contour lines and the width of the the stream this is going into the river so this is downstream of here so this stream is flowing down and right and if you remember our stream was flowing down and left as you come downstream so that doesn't fit and then another thing here is these little grey or black symbols here are crags or rock faces and we can see the contours here very steep on the opposite bank and there's no crag feature opposite and it's not particularly steep so that rules out A. What about B? Well here we can see there's no stream directly opposite at all there so we can't see that feature so it's not B. Uh, likewise C there's no stream coming in opposite there's no even uh, gap in the the hillside there this Ravens Clough is coming down for B but it's offset somewhat so it's not that one so let's have a look at D well here let's zoom in a little bit more on the map we can see we've got a stream coming down directly opposite Coldwell Clough and think about the stream direction Coldwell Clough coming down it comes down and flows downstream because here we can see the contours the height we could read off the height of the contours this is lower ground than here so it is D what about this path can we see a path on the um, photograph well I'm always a little bit wary of paths whether or not we can see them or not oops just a second so there may be a vague path in here but um 
it's very hard to see whether there's a, a path there or not. And even if there is, that might just be a path that's made by sheep or, um, you know, a path that, that's made by people but not necessarily going to be sh shown on the map. There's lots of paths in the landscape that aren't shown on the maps. So I would always go off the main natural features or permanent features shape of the ground first. So that's your answer. We were looking at the sheepfold in Coldwell Clough, looking up Coldwell Clough. So I hope you got that one right. Thanks for watching. Look out for next week's navigation task. Bye for now.